Hello again, this is Dr. John Hoy, physician and surgeon of the foot and ankle, practicing in the heart of downtown Seattle, Washington. Welcome to my treatment room. Today I'm going to talk about a question that a patient posed to me. And the question she asked was, what is the difference between a podiatrist and a chiropodist? Immediately I answered her, about 50 years. The history of my profession is very interesting. Until the turn of the 20th century, chiropodists, now known as podiatrists, were separate from organized medicine. They were independently licensed physicians who treated feet, ankles, and related leg structures. The first society of chiropodists, now known as podiatrists, was established in New York in 1895 and still operates today as the New York State Podiatric Medical Association. The first school opened in 1911. One year later, the British established a society at the London Foot Hospital and a school was added in 1919. In Australia, professional associations appeared from 1924 onwards. From the beginning of the Second World War, practitioners who were educated in the United States obtained the degree Doctor of Surgical Chiropody. By the end of the 1960s, all of the schools in the United States had changed their names to podiatry and the degree graduates were awarded was and continues to be Doctor of Podiatric Medicine, or DPM. Today's podiatrists in the United States are physicians, surgeons, and specialists of the foot and ankle. They have a podiatric medical school education and residency, and their licenses allow them to do the following. Number one, perform surgery. Number two, perform reconstructive and microsurgeries. Number three, administer anesthesia. Number four, perform complete medical histories and physical examinations. Number five, prescribe medications. Number six, set fractures and treat sports related injuries. Number seven, prescribe and fit orthotics, insoles, casts, and prosthetics. Number eight, order and perform physical therapy. Number nine, take and interpret x-rays, ultrasounds, MRIs, and other imaging studies. Number 10, work as valued members of a community's healthcare team. In some Canadian provinces, such as British Columbia and Alberta, the standards are the same as in the United States where the Doctor of Podiatric Medicine, or DPM, is the accepted qualification. Quebec, too, also has ch recently changed to this DPM level of training. In the rest of the world, though, the terminology is not the same, and the term chiropodist still exists, causing some confusion. In fact, in the Canadian Prairie and Atlantic provinces, the standard is based on the British model, now called chiropody or podiatry. That model of podiatry is currently the accepted model for most of the world, including the United Kingdom, Australia, and South Africa. In many non-English speaking countries of the world, the title used may be podologist or podologo. The level, of, the level and scope of practice of podiatry or chiropody varies amongst countries. Let's look at some countries where the, the podiatry chiropody model is used. In the Canadian province of Ontario, the government adopted the British foot care delivery model in 1980. Since July 1993, no new American model podiatrists have registered to practice in Ontario. 
the majority of chiropodists currently practicing hold a post-secondary diploma in chiropody, although many also have some university level schooling or a baccalaureate degree in the sciences or another field. Chiropodists in Ontario may not bill the Ontario Health Insurance Plan or OHIP for their services. They also can't communicate a diagnosis to patients or patients representatives nor are they able to perform surgical procedures on the bones of the forefoot. Now, American model podiatrists who are still practicing there may do so. In the United Kingdom, podiatrists complete about 1,000 supervised clinical hours in the course of training, which enables them to recognize systemic disease as it manifests in the foot and ankle and will refer on to the appropriate healthcare professional as needed. Their scope of their, uh, the scope of practice of a podiatrist is varied. It ranges from simple skin care to invasive bone and joint surgery, depending on the education and training. In order to perform invasive foot surgery, a UK podiatrist must undertake extensive postgraduate education and training, usually taking a minimum of 10 years to complete. In Australia, there currently exist two levels of professional accreditation and professional privilege. There is the general podiatrist and the specialist podiatric surgeon. Australian podiatrists complete an undergraduate degree ranging from three to four years of education. Australian podiatric surgeons, on the other hand, are specialist podiatrists with further training a master's degree must be completed. So in summary, a chiropodist is a term that is no longer used in the United States. In the US, the profession has evolved to the doctor of podiatric medicine, also called podiatric physician and surgeon or foot and ankle surgeon. Its practitioners have a medical school education and residency. With the exception of British Columbia, Alberta, and Quebec, the practice of the profession is very different in the rest of the world. The model that is used is called podiatry chiropody. Here the practitioners have a post-secondary bachelor's or master's degree. That is the difference. For the best in surgical and non-surgical care of your feet, please call our office for an appointment. As always, take care and have a great day.